Emotional dentistry is a concept that has that some dentists are aware of and it's often about making someone feel really emotional and good about the smile. In my experience that does come but the way I see emotional dentistry is the emotional support that a really really good experienced cosmetic dentist will need to provide in order to get the patient to see the beauty of the change. What I mean by that is when someone has an existing look on their face and you do something about that face that changes it, it means that there is a mental adaptation that our minds go through. So you're looking in the mirror and you're expected to see your old self and you see a new self. And sometimes that is not easy to process. And so it can be rejected initially, or it can be accepted, but connections are not quite being made. You look at it and you think, okay, I think I like it, but I'm just not sure. And then you need a little bit of support you need guidance, you need to be open-minded as a patient to accept some guidance from the experienced clinician who's done it many times before. If there is ever a situation where someone is closed-minded in that aspect, doesn't want to accept that there is a challenge, is too focused on the tiny, tiny detail that doesn't actually translate in the end, or is not allowing themselves to adapt to change, then no matter how much support one gives, it's not going to get you to the end. And that's why we do see, sometimes we pick up patients who are in the middle of a treatment or they've finished and they're not quite there, etc. So, you know, we don't want to be one of those patients. So the best thing to do is be open-minded and accept and understand that there is an emotional uh, aspect to this. How that translates for us is when you get someone into their handmade trial smile, they will then feel that they look a little bit different and I will have tools and guidance and advice uh, and anecdotes and uh, examples that will help people to appreciate that change in a positive way and manage those emotions and keep them in a box rather than allowing it to translate into something that is out of control, etc. That trial smile then will be the design for the final and you know that your emotional experience has happened where you still have the ability to adapt because you can come back and you will see me for a review after that trial smile where I will retouch any areas that I feel need to be even better and get a second chance at that. The traditional method is to have some kind of temporaries and then the final fitting. The final fitting is the final thing. So you have all your emotional experiences at the end. That for me is too risky and I can't understand how treatment is done like that expecting someone to get used to something that is permanent when there is a perfectly good way of doing it where it's not permanent. And I think that handmade trial smile, the smile sculpting technique that we're known for, definitely helps to allow you to accept the change that you've chosen to make. And I've learned this the hard way because we used to have situations where a patient would look at their trial and not be used to it and we wouldn't understand that there's an adaptation. And we'd be wondering why they haven't looked at it and love it straight away. And I think those who do this sort of work routinely have that experience. And so we now know how to warn and how to explain before the treatments are done of how the emotions are gonna work. You can be the best clinical dentist. If this emotional element isn't there in terms of support for the patient, then I feel we're gonna get more failures because a lot of this is to do with expectation management.